G'day folks, welcome back to Tento Monta. I know it's sort of turn five. Uh, we've gone through the kind of early phase. We're up to the headline phase. I think it's called the spring phase. This is where uh, cards have been drawn. Each card gets to pick a card they want to play for the event and then a card to support that. Uh, this is, we have, this is the second turn in a row the Muslims have drawn this. Uh, so they get to draw a caravan resource Putting back the draw until one that obtains a CP is obtained. Then they place two Morisco Uprising and two Morisco Regulars in Spanish control. So still, the Spanish haven't really been doing much at the Reconquista. So that's not really needed. It was the same as last turn. Didn't need to play that. We could consider our home cards. Uh, we could certainly do with some more Pirates. We're down to one. So I'm very tempted to play the Barbary Pirates. The question then is, ooh, choose a non-Muslim formation. Eliminate three units. So I could eliminate three units from the Portuguese in a North African space with no port. Okay, it's gotta be in the desert. Or Portugal lose all units in fortified home spaces that are currently under a Portuguese control. Unless they discard, that really hurts the Portuguese. That'd be great. So we've just had a new North African leader come out. And the, the Muslims were thinking, let's try and recapture uh, Mazagan down here. It does have a garrison of two, but it's the furthest from all this, this pocket of Portuguese troops up here in the north. So that would be nice to play. City-state rebels. Uh, that would also be one. This, this is a good Muslim hand. This is great for their sieges. Um, fortified space, not under siege. It is not controlled by its home power. That'd be very great to play straight away. Uh, hmm. What do I want to play? I want something to happen. Maybe I power it up with Rise of University. So this is a, this. This is a victory point. Uh, I can gain if uh, choose to either. Gain of EP and four CP of actions. It's hard to resist that VP and you don't know what others are going to do. Definitely want to play that. Definitely want to play that. Home cards, which leaves me with one of these. Is it risk? Is it worth risking? So what you've got to think about is the Muslims don't know how the other powers are going to power up their cards. And if they only play a four, it's a risk that they will go last and their event won't happen. And then they lose their really powerful event. Um, I love this event. One VP and four CP worth of actions. I love City State Rebels. Uh, I can also play it right. Now they've got three units there. Uh, you roll six dice, each hit forces the power to eliminate a force. So the Portuguese could, they've got three there, two militia and a fleet, and they've got three here, two regulars and a militia. So both, for, both stacks are basically equivalent in terms of potential impact. Look, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna play it a bit safe. Um, This is all units in fortified home spaces, unless they discard a card or a resource. And this determines the number of units kept. So I'm gonna play Marisk, play Desert. So Portugal will lose all units in fortified home spaces in this Sultanate. They're currently under Portuguese control. There's quite a few of them. Unless they discard a card and the value of the card determines the number of units they are allowed to keep. So this is kind of a middle ground. It's not getting rid of a very valuable card. It's, I still want it to happen, but I'm kind of, don't, won't mind too much if it doesn't happen. All right, so now we get to the Portuguese and keep in mind, they don't know what the Muslims have done. So they've got their home cards, have the cavalry they can't do. They don't want to play that. Isabella dies. Oh, this is very good for the, Portuguese, because Isabella has been waging a war and is really threatening uh, northern the kingdom of Portugal uh, and the, the Beltrellianas holdings in this area here. So the Portuguese will draw a card, 
play this as the Spanish ruler, which would lower their card draw. Okay, if this card is still in play, and then you get three ops, so I love this event. I definitely want to play that. How do I power it up? Oh, wow. Kingdom Tribute, draw two or three cards. You draw one less card next turn. Look, these are kind of equivalent um, because, well, not equivalent, but I'm fighting this war against the Spanish and the Muslims and draw two or three cards. Two or three, if you draw three cards, there are two additional for each other player. Places unrest. Yeah, look, there's a kind of consequence. So I'm gonna power that, I'm gonna use this card as good as it is. This will still let me draw a card and hurt the Spanish. So I'm gonna play that and power it up with a six CP card. So this is my support value. This is the Muslim support value. The Spanish, the piece of Alcachovas, Al uh, playable if Castile controls one or more Beltranianos home keys. They do, up here, Toro. Uh, now, this is quite complex. It's the first time I've actually seen this card come out. See 9.5 and 20.4 for details. 9.5, okay. These two powers begin the period at war. They both end up signing the Peace of Al Cachovas and the Treaty of Tordesilla. The blah, blah, blah. It, it, okay, so that's just a summary of the event. If we flip now to 20.4, I'm sure it'll summarize what actually happens. 20.4. Okay, the peace treaty puts an end to the confrontation between Portugal and Castile, although several Beltranianos nobles will refuse to surrender and continue to fight. This peace can be activated with this event. Um, and it's the only way that Spain and Portugal can end their war. The immediate effects are Portugal and the Beltranianos are no longer allies. The state of war between, the normal war between uh, Portugal and Spain ends, uh, but they continue their war at sea, basically. Castile can no longer establish settlements in Ocean Zones 1 or 2. They haven't been doing that anyway. There's no space left, so that's fine. Portugal can no longer enter land space in the Canary Islands. They haven't been doing that. But Portugal gets 3 VP for agreeing to stop directly supporting the Voltrogenos. Now, that would be... One, two, three. That would put them in a one, two, three, four, five, six, in a very dominating position to win the game. So everything else sounds good except for that three VP. Um, and to be frank, look, it'd be great for, from the Spanish perspective. It'd be great to have Portugal out of this war, which means all these Portuguese forces will no longer help the Beltranianos. It would enable the Spanish to capture these Beltranianos areas quite quickly and get the Spanish up in VPs. Maybe one, two, three, at least, that I can see. All right, so the Spanish are going one, two, three. But I think it's just too much in terms of what it does to put, oh, look, you know what? I've got to do it because it also lets me, what we're going to do, I'm going to play it. Uh, and what I'm gonna do is help the French or help the Muslims to fight the Portuguese. So the Spanish, yeah, look, I think we have to do it just because the Spanish are so far behind and they need to start focusing on um, the Nazareths. The question then is, what do we power it up with? We don't have a lot. I'm not going to actually play the event uh, in the headline phase because there's a risk it may not happen. Um, Oh, this is perfect for us. Canary Island Conquest. Oh, but I really want that to happen as well. Six CP to build units in spaces I control in the Canary Islands. The Ottoman sees Otranto down here. Place four Ottoman regulars in north. Uh, this is not good because what's going to happen some... Oh, you know what I can do? I can say, all right, that's going to happen. And I'm only going to power it up with my lowest value card, which unfortunately 
is Canary Island Conquest. I can't, uh, I don't want that event to happen, which is why I was thinking pair it up with a low card. Unfortunately, I've got good cards and something's gonna happen. Oh, wow. Okay, well, let's try, let's try Canary Island Conquest and let's try and pair it up with Witchcraft. This is a bit of a gamble by the Spanish. Um, all they need is for, again, they don't know what's happening. They need, because they're last, they will win ties on the VP track. So they need, they need any other power to play a four or a three and their event will happen. Then we head to the French. Uh, they've got a terrible, terrible hand. Terrible, terrible hand. They are allied with Genoa. They gain one VP and the Muslims draw a card from the deck. That would be lovely. But how can we power this up? The answer is we really can't. So the French are probably gonna play conservatively and just get rid of a low op card. Um, it helps their navigation checks. They don't really care. They're just gonna burn two cards. All right, time to resolve the headline events. We reveal our cards. We've got a six, two fours, and a three in terms of our support values, which means the Portuguese, the Portuguese win an unexpected victory point. Then the event happens. The Portuguese draw a card. Isabella dies. Um, place this card if this card is still in place in a card draw phase. The Spanish player chooses three cards to show the French player who steals one. That's their. Oh, sorry. Where's the? Uh, yeah, that's their their discard. Uh, Isabella dies. I'm assuming that means she's removed from play. And I think there are rules around this, but where are they? Because Isabella is actually on the map. Isabella dies, here we go. Okay. Units, oh, undertake the following activities as part of the mandatory Isabella Dies event. The Portuguese will get three ops as well, three CP to spend as a result of this mandatory event. It's a pretty good event card to lead with. Units in Ferdinand stack may be displaced. Flip the Ferdinand, Fernando counter. I assume that means Ferdinand. Ah, to its red reverse side only. He hasn't been uh, coordinating Castilian and um, Aragonian forces anyway, so that doesn't matter. Then we displace all Castilian units. Then if it's in a Castilian home space, it's not. Now displace all Castilian units in Aragonese home spaces. There are none. They've pretty much been divided anyway. Land now, between the play Land units of Castile and Aragon cannot be part of the same formation. They haven't been anyway. Ferdinand can only contain, uh, command Aragonese units. Castile units may only be moved to a space in Italy if moving as part of a special event. Um, that's it. So not too dire. But now the Portuguese get three ops. Three ops. Now they know that... Where's the Muslim event? They know they're going to be losing some units here. So they might use these three ops. Manuel here has got four, 10 units, wow. Okay. Um, three ops, what are we gonna do? Couple of VPs. How can the Portuguese secure just a few more victory points? Exploration, I'm thinking. They're gonna build, they're gonna build. Where are the rest of their Naus? Oh, here they are, one, two, they're gonna build Naus. They're gonna keep exploring because that's what they're good at. Okay, so, oh, they've got two out already, good. 
one, two to build that. And they've got one left. They're gonna do a naval move to move all these nows into this C zone. So they're gonna try and pick up a couple of cartography VPs. You'll notice they've been so focused on settling. They haven't really pursued that. They do have a few good ones. Um, that they've kind of discovered incidentally, but they haven't focused on that so much. Now they're gonna use this game turn, turn five, to try and grab a few of these easy ones. All right, so a naval move, which means they can move into sea zones like so. All right, so that's Portuguese done. Next we have two fours. Now whoever is lowest goes first, which will be the Spanish. They roll a die and they get a victory point. All right, five or six gives them a victory point. They can use their admin rating to sacrifice. They have a zero now because Isabella's dead. Uh, and, sorry, and their event is Canary Island Conquest. Six CP to build any combination of units. Okay, six CP. We're going to build them right there. Six militia. If you are not the Spanish player, take four CP of action. So that's a shame, but look, six CP of militia is, is pretty good. They're happy with that. They will soon capture the last space in the Canary Islands. All right, then we get to uh, the Muslims. So they don't get a victory point, their event happens. Choose a non-Muslim formation in a home space with no port and take two CP, eliminate a uh, Muslim home space, North, sorry, in a North African home space with no port. So I can pick this unit, this space here, eliminate three units. I think that's better than the alternative. So I'm just gonna kill off these three Portuguese units, a North African home space with no port. It's been captured by the Portuguese. Eliminate three units, now take two CP. I'm gonna go one. Actually, you know what? Um, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, including one cavalry, so we can command that. I'm gonna go one. And then um, I'm gonna build a militia up here. Two, two, three, four, five, yeah. And we're gonna to prepare to lay siege to this area. Good event for the Muslims, a good start to their attempt to reconquer uh, Northern Africa. Okay, and then the French, their event is goes off, nothing happens, so they discard it. They can then, uh, force, force player, they adjust the Diplomatic display by is it one or two spaces. The headline event. Fourth place. Move any player's influence marker one. All right, so the poor, the French, what do they want to grab? They have Genoa. Um, look, the papacy would be great. Let's try and start influencing the papacy. All right. Uh, okay, so that is the headline phase. Naval escort. Each power with an explored ocean may move a naval squadron from a home port. They won't worry about that. Troop deployment, starting with the Muslims. Um, they've, 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 they're happy. Uh, we could kind of we could shift some forces around. We've got five over here. Let's bring, let's bring th our cavalry. We've got three cavalry units down here. They're gonna deploy up to Ibn Yaya. So here's got a massive cavalry force of six. That'd be very effective, effective in a field battle. The Portuguese should be very concerned about this. Uh, the Portuguese have got troops all over the place. Um, uh, okay, he can move seven. They could move into Tetuan. They're scared now. This big Ibn Yaya force, very scared. They've also got, oh sorry, Isabella dies as well. I'm sure that, that was part of the event. Um, very scared. How can I, how can I fix this situation? 
I think we're just going to def- have to defend. Um, their access has been blocked now. They can't get through to a Scylla from Quetta. I could move in with... I might actually. So I'm going to split those regulars into two lots of two. I'll leave two behind and I'm going to split my four, one, one, leave one behind and advance with seven to there. So they're spring deploying into their strategic area. All right, uh, the Spanish. Um, okay, what can we do here? We've got six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We've got a big stack of Aragonese forces here. We've got Mendoza down here. Mendoza is going to be pretty active this turn, I think. But what else do we do? Um, look, I might take leave Ferdinand there. Take the great captain. Bring him with just a small handful of troops down to Valencia. Yeah, okay, we'll see what we can do. And then the French, uh, they want to try to recapture Milan if they can. They're falling behind the Portuguese, so they need some VPs. Um, so I'm gonna bring this big stack as much as I can. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Gonna bring it down to Grenoble. Oh, you know what? There's also Nice here. Nice, I can't believe I haven't captured Nice yet. That should be a quick and easy VP. Let's go, because Genoa is control. So we can move into Nice and then Genoa and then move up there. Yeah. I can't believe I haven't noticed Nice is such a simple, independent space to capture. We've also got this mandatory event which we want to resolve as well. All right, now it is up to the game turn and we've got the Muslims going first. And they want to kick things off straight away with some attacks. We're going to play some four ops. We are going to move into this, oh, hold on a sec. It's been a while since uh, we might need we might need to build some fleets um, because we've got a Portuguese fleet out there in Cape Boyador. The power that controls the fortified space does not have a naval unit. Yeah, okay, so we cannot lay siege to this because of the Portuguese fleets off here. So we're gonna to have to build um, some fleets. And I may as well do it. Uh, where are my, port where are my, here we go, North African. We're gonna build them, build them in all around. So one, two, three, four, they are built. Okay. We have to get, do some naval moves. So the, the, we're setting up to actually, you know, hold on a sec, hold on a sec. Rewind. Let's play our home card. This gives us seven CP that can be used to construct Corsairs, conduct naval moves and undertake piracy action. So what I can do is one, two, three, four, naval move, five. All right. I have two CP left. I'm kind of tempted to shift down to the Gulf of Cadiz and try and get rid of those fleets. So let's try that. Um, five, then we're gonna naval move in here. And this provides the Portuguese with the opportunity to intercept first. And I think they're gonna intercept, they're gonna try and fight this battle. So the line of seas, he's gonna try and intercept into here. He needs a seven or more, Oof, just enough. So he'll intercept and we're gonna have a sea battle here. And keep in mind the Muslims still have one CP left. 
So with sea battle, uh, we have got, ooh, this could be interesting. We have got quite a lot going on. Four North African squadrons versus three Portuguese. Um, naval combat. So we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dice for the North Africans, plus I believe two for Kamal Reese. Yep. Hitting on a five or six. I don't think they have any combat cards that can really help them. No. So hitting on a five or a six, uh, not good. One hit, ooh, okay. One hit on the Portuguese. Portuguese get six, seven, eight for their leader, plus one for being the defender is nine. All right, so not too bad for the defender. Oh, no, because it's not taking place in a port. It's only, only if it takes place in a port. So that's six for the squadrons, plus two for the line of seas. So eight, four, here we go, hitting on a five or a six. That's pretty bad as well. So that's one hit each. Uh, the defender is the winner. Uh, okay, so each side eliminates the squadron for every two hits scored. The player losing its units chooses which side, blah, blah, blah. Odd hits remaining against a losing side eliminate a squadron. So the poor Muslims um, lose a squadron. The winner ignores odd hits. If both sides, uh, if both sides are eliminated, blah blah blah, the attacker must retreat. Okay, so the Muslims now have to retreat to this C. That should be gone. Sorry, they have one CP left. <sighs> they could try it again. Uh, but now, oh, look, the siege has been lifted, but I mean, the, the, the sea fleet is gone, but if I move in there, they're just going to move back in. Um, um, what else? One, one point left. I may as well move back in there, try it again. Second attempt at this combat. Now the Muslims only have Four, five, six, seven, eight dice. Uh, it's a better roll. They'll at least eliminate one Portuguese squadron. The Portuguese with six, seven, eight defending. They roll, well, well nothing. So the Portuguese lose a squadron now and they have to retreat. And I think they're gonna retreat to here. Here, oh. no, we'll, move, we'll retreat to here. Reason being, I think we are pretty keen to rebuild some fleets. So, uh, I think overseas kingdom, add two militia and one naval squadron. Uh, we're gonna struggle with some units now. So I had four militia, two militia, two militia and one naval squadron. Well, I don't have Portuguese naval squadrons, damn. Should have thought about that first, okay. So I'm at my limit of Portuguese naval squadrons. Um, so instead of doing that, Oh, gee. I could add three militia or a cavalry, then take two CP of actions. Eh. What I really want to do is just keep exploring. Ah, oh, beautiful. Maritime technology for the event. The chosen player places a maritime technology marker uh, it is one of these, here it is, Maritime Technology, 
for a plus one modifier on my cartography and terra incognita roles. So that's what I want to do. This will really help the Portuguese with their plans for this turn. Uh, the Spanish. Let's play the piece. It's risky. Oh, the French and the Muslims are going to hate the Spanish for playing this. But let's do it. The piece of Alcovis is immediately signed between Spain and Portugal. They are no longer at war on land. They are only at war at sea, but the Spanish haven't been doing anything at sea anyway. So the piece is signed. Uh, here it is. There are many. This is there's about a page dedicated to this piece. They're no longer uh, Portugal and the Beltrellanos are no longer allied. I had they they okay. They're no longer allied. Uh, the peace 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 starts. Altracovas um, is in force. I don't know where I put this, but. Uh, Okay, turn one, we, is there a marker for it somewhere? Let's put it in our VP space down here. Place it in its box on the diplomatic status display. Okay, so I'm guessing, I'm guessing here, treaty of, okay, there's a treaty box. Hold on. Um, yep, I think that's where it may go. Okay, uh, flip at the start of the second turn. Okay, a state of war at sea exists. Castile cannot build settlements. Portugal can't enter the Canary Islands. Three VP to Portugal. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They're now seven VP ahead. They're in a winning position. The Spanish player selects a card from his hand and gives it immediately to Portugal as war reparations. All right, they can grab that card. Um, a marriage between Isabella and Afonso is arranged. Unfortunately, Isabella died, so that can't happen. If Spain or Portugal controls the other players, for example, Braganza returns to the Portuguese and this unit is displaced. Okay. Calculate the number of fortifications. The difference is awarded as VP markers to the player who returns the most. So the Spanish gain another VP for returning for winning the war on land, I suppose you could think of this. Then the Beltragenos units changes. They may only undertake move, recruit, and assault actions when their home card is played. They may perform the assault action directly upon arriving in a fortified space without having to lay siege to it. That's pretty handy. Um, Oh, I've been making a rules error. You're only allowed to play two of your three home cards, I think. So I think that's a mistake I've been making throughout the game. Okay, that's it. That was a Spanish playing that. That's it, playing that important event. The French now, it's, they've got a lot of pressure to catch up in VPs. Okay, let's play this one. The spice trade. If you are Spain or French and you control or are allied with Genoa or Venice, they are. Decide if you gain one VP. Decide if you gain one VP and the Muslim player draws a card from the deck. Or vice versa. That's really poorly worded. Decide if you gain one VP and the Muslim player draws a card from the deck. Or is it or if the Muslim player gains a VP and you draw a card from the deck? That's so bad. Okay, but in any case, I'm going to gain a VP 
and the Muslim player is going to draw a card from the deck. Yeah, that's terrible. Uh, okay, so that's... Um, and then we get three ops. We're going to go one into Nice. So they're going to defend with three dice. I rolled four, but they missed anyway, so that was an accident. Then the French one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven for my cavalry is six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's more than enough to wipe out those independents and to grab Nice. That's one. We are then going to go one, two, oh no, hold on a sec. That's one. How can we pull back Portugal? I don't think we can. There's not much. The oh, our mandatory war. Let's try to, we desperately need to recruit down here. So let's got, uh, that's one. We have two ops left. We will build two militia with Charles. So you can recruit straight into this foreign war. We'll do that. All right, French are done. Back to the Muslims. Okay. Now they're keen. Um, look, they're, they're falling way behind. 27 to 40 victory points. They're 13 behind. So just grabbing some easy VPs for Granada is what we'll do. Oh, yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> Hard to resist a quick VP. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. The Portuguese still need a couple of extra victory points. This is an easy one. Gain a VP if they control a home key. They still control Placentia here, so that's a VP for the Portuguese. Quick and easy VP, put them back in a winning position now. The Spanish are desperately short of cards. I don't know how they're so short of cards, but they are short of cards. I don't know what happened to their, their deck. Um, all right, let's replace the dead Isabella with Cardinal Cicerno. Place this card as my ruler. Let's place any enemy units so that Spanish can place two units of the Order of Santiago and one control marker in Oran. Okay, so I displace that. Place a Spanish control marker in Oran. That's the order of Santiago. And Bayaya. I am running out of control markers. Here we go. So I displace those Muslims. North Africans and Spanish go to war if they aren't already. So North Africans and Spanish are now at war. Okay, having said that, they don't want to do too much because they're both coming last. Although the Spanish can see Constantine over here, the quick VP, Algiers, is independent for now. Okay, then we get three ops. And the Beltrianos are isolated and looking quite vulnerable. So we're gonna get Mendoza here. He's just such an ineffective leader. Oh, okay, let's grab six regulars and move into Troyillo. Um, the Beltrianos, I've forgotten, can they intercept? Yeah, I guess so. They'll try. They need a nine or more. Uh, they fail. So the Spanish capture that. That is a victory point for the Spanish. Minus one for Portugal. All right. Um, what are we doing? That's one. 
Um, then we'll simply move four CP, we'll move our cavalry, four CP down here. Should have done this a long time ago. That's minus one to Portugal. Plus one to Spain. I mean, these are easy VPs that I could have grabbed. And then we'll go four cavalry into here. Um, and the Muslims will not try and grab that. Too risky, I think. So that's minus one Muslims plus one Spain. Spain finally getting some VPs on the board. Up to 22 now compared to the 39 of Portugal. All right. Now over to the French. They're keen to win this foreign war. Um, I'm going to play the Rise of France. Move a single leader formation. Oh, it has been a French home key. Okay. I didn't realize that. I thought it was anywhere. Um, okay. And play four ops. Going to advance Florence by one CP. I'm going to, well, that's one. I'm going to recruit. I'm going to recruit two more militia. Not going to, not going to uh, short change myself. Uh, uh, what do I got here? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven dice versus the five defenders. All right, um, and do I have any combat cards? No, nope. Okay, so five dice, defender, that's three hits. Okay, one, two, three, these Bretons are good at defending. I get, what did I say, nine, 10, 11 dice. So five, 10, 11, here we go. Uh, okay. Good, four hits is enough to wipe them out. We finally win the war in Brittany. Uh, that is a VP. Brittany war, one VP for France. We are really closing that gap. And we no longer suffer the minus one card penalty. Remove from the deck is the war completed for a second time. That's the first time, so it goes back to the deck. All right, folks, I will uh, stop here for now. Uh, there's a lot underway, I know. North Africans being busy trying to recapture these coastal areas, that will let them raid the Portuguese. So that'll let them raid these resources. Uh, they're also trying to recapture Tetuan, uh, which is another VP for the Muslims, bringing the Portuguese down. The Spanish uh, finally kind of now that the peace is signed with Portugal, there's, there's just there's a degree of weight lifted from their shoulders, and Mendoza has finally moved out of Seville for the first time all game. So he's active now, and there he's committed to capturing Placentia before, I think, I don't know what we're going to do. I think we're going to move the Grand Captain down here to start the, the reconquest. Oh, there's Toledo as well. Toledo has four um, meanwhile, the Portuguese are struggling. They need to just focus on exploration. The French are picking up the independence. They're going Nice, Milan. They're going to try and grab Florence. Just try and pick up a few easy VPs, I think. Um, they like to tidy up. Not Italy, basically. That's what they're trying to do. Uh, there's also some scope here for action. So there's a couple of VPs they can grab. I can't believe they haven't, I didn't notice this. These are now active. All right, folks, thank you for watching. Uh, we'll continue this soon. Take care.